second job of the day and it's a super nice day out at 73 a little bit barely cloudy but uh, hopefully I get some good footage and can fix the issue I know Mike has been there in the past and it was a train system I believe that he had to add like four pounds of 410 to and uh, that's what the customer chose to do we'll see what the issue is now and if I can get it running or how the customer wants to go about it. So the customer actually just called me and said that there were people staying at the house. Um, somebody had put refrigerant in a few months ago and uh, the people staying at the house noticed it wasn't working so they went to the wrong thermostat and somehow turned, turned the heat on which made the house even warmer. So I'll see what it is when I get there. The homeowner's not going to be there. He's uh, he said 6,000 miles away. So, we'll see what the issue is. And hopefully, well, I guess we'll see, but it's probably gonna be refrigerant. Okay, so I just arrived at the unit. Uh, my blower inside did come on. Taking a look at the coil. And pretty dirty, but there's vines growing on it as well get my gauges and see what's going on okay so I got my gauges hooked up you could see practically no sub cooling tons of superheat our evaporator temperature is below freezing so the system probably froze over when it wasn't working and uh, that's why it's not cooling so it is gonna be low on refrigerant which means there's gonna be a leak uh, before I give the homeowner a call, I'm going to see if I can take a look, find any any leaks myself quickly. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so here's our system. See, we got water in there, which makes me think that the system was frozen. And manufactured in 2009. It is a... What is it? A 360. So it's a 12.4, 36, 48, 5 ton. I don't know why I couldn't do that math in my head that quickly, but I'm going to pop the covers off, get the electronic leak detector on, and see if I can find anything. I'll kill power too. Okay, so I got my cover off, and we are actually still frozen. And I know my filter's clean. Let's see how our oil looks. Aside from the ice, it looks pretty clean. But let's see, I'll take a look, see if I can find any leaks. Okay, so here's our ice that maybe I may have to thaw out uh, to get to more of the coil, but just waiting for the LA Tech to start up, which it just did. Got my panel light, but uh, let's see, let's see if we pick anything up. I'm not going to bore you with this for 20 minutes, but once I find it, I'll hold it there and show you. Okay, so I did thaw it out a little bit, and I went around the coil for a while, and it's not picking up anything. So he wants me to spend about an hour doing a leak detection. I'm going to check outside now and check the outdoor coil, see if I can find anything there. Uh, because with the amount it's leaking, I should be able to pick up something and I'm not picking up anything in the cabinet or around the coil, even on the inside or on the other side. So I'm gonna go outside, see if I can find anything there. If not, possibly in the line set. I did check the braze connections here and I did not pick up anything. So we'll see. Okay, so I was reading inside the condenser and I pinpointed something in this corner and I might put it over here. They go up like crazy. So I'm going to spray some soapy bubbles there and see 
what's going on. Okay, so I finished up there uh, because it's frozen. <clears throat> Not going to charge the system, but he doesn't want to fix the leak. He wants to try adding the sealant. So we'll be back tomorrow morning to add the refrigerant and the sealant. And me and Peter are on our way to a rooftop unit that was not, it's not cooling. Uh, it wasn't cooling, I believe, last year as well. And it's an older system, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here we are up on the roof. And here's our unit. Uh, never seen a unit this old. But I'll open up this cover and start here. I think that's where the electric is and see if we have power and if there's any voltage, low voltage, if there's even a call for cooling or not, but we'll see. Okay, so I got my Klein meter out and I'll start at L1. Actually, let me untangle it. And we'll go from L1 carefully to ground. And I have no voltage, L2 to ground, no voltage, L3 to ground, no voltage. Take a look at this. Okay, and just quickly, I checked for any shorts to ground on the lines coming in and the lines on the outside of the contactor. And I had a short to ground on the compressor contactor. So I just opened up this cover, pulled it off, and our terminals are shot. So I'm gonna pull these off and see if our compressor is shorted out. Uh, I'm gonna grab I have gloves on, there's no power, but I can't turn the disconnect off, so being careful, as careful as I can be, get all these out of the way. shorted to ground or no not shorted to ground I have resistance which I should but it's yeah shorted to ground shorted to ground and shorted to ground so this compressor is shot let's see about the other one terminal but no obvious 
connection between the wires. This one got close, but it's just on the outer. So, let's see. One is on top, two is the next one over, and three is the next one over. Just want to remember that so it's spinning the right way. When it's plugged back in and has power. So, continuity, check from one terminal to ground, nothing, 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 and let's see what our resistances are, um, one ohm, one ohm, and one ohm, so there's one ohm of resistance on each terminal so that compressor is probably going to be no good either because those are all supposed to add up to a specific number uh, for the time being I'm just going to plug these back in uh, if we can get it running then I'll place these connectors but this customer has already been given a quote for a new unit so I just want to see if we can get it running or not, or if he is in fact going to need that new unit. Some burns on it. This probably has too much. Uh, my guess is there's too much amperage going to it, but I could be wrong. You can cut it for now. You can also see if you look in there, it's a taped up fan motor. No idea why that is, but. For now, let's see if I can get these wires capped off. Okay, so I did just call the customer and let them know. Uh, ultimately, this unit needs to be replaced. It's incredibly, incredibly old. Uh, countless people have been here making numerous repairs, but uh, since 2020, uh, I did take a look at this diagram to see what I could figure out as far as which is which, but the compressor with the shorted to ground blown out terminals. This is our compressor one. The one back there is our compressor two. Uh, compressor two has not been running, the one in the back, uh, since 2020, and this one is now bad, so he has no compressor. And uh, it's an R22 system, so. I'm gonna button this unit back up. I did wire nut these just in case. Who knows if he'll turn power back on and run the fan, but that's going to be it for this call. Okay, so... Starting with there, tweaks welding supply. contact the customer, they're not answering, but that is it for today. Uh, we are on our way home now. It's only 1.21. I'm going to stop and refill our nitrogen tanks on the way home because why not but uh that's gonna be it so hopefully you enjoyed watching the video if you did like the video uh comment any advice or feedback or criticisms and subscribe thanks for watching